السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم الذين إذا أصابتهم مصيبة قالوا قالوا إنا لله وإنا إليه راجعون Those when calamity strikes upon them قالوا they say إنا لله وإنا إليه راجعون Indeed we belong to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to him we shall return Bismillah walhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillahi wa ba'd Welcome to Merciful Servant Subhanallah, we'll be looking at a few things in this particular verse. The word over here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uses إِذَا أَصَابَتْهُمْ مُصِيبَةٌ Musiba is translated as calamity or infliction or a disaster. But the real meaning of musiba is understood by the hadith of Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. When he was lying down one of, one of these days, one of, one of the days in his house, and the lantern, you know, the lantern in those days didn't have electricity. So the lantern due to the, the gust of wind turned off. And it was dark all of a sudden. And Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raja'un. So Aisha radiallahu anha, she turned back and she said, A musibatun hu, is this a calamity, Ya Rasulullah? And he replied back, he said, Anything that displeases a believer is a calamity for him, or is a musibah for him. Now musiba or a calamity, whenever it befalls on a, on a Muslim, he needs to look at few things. Number one, he needs to look at whether this calamity was a direct source, like part and parcel of the person's own action. I.e., for example, somebody's driving speeds, he's driving his car extreme high speeds and recklessly driving it and he gets into a car wreck. He is part and parcel of the cause of that particular accident. And in this particular case, he has no one else to blame other than he himself. And he needs to say, Inna lillahi wa inna raji'un for this case. But sometimes calamities might fall onto you or might come to you and you didn't do anything directly to bring this calamity upon you. And in this case, you need to ask two questions. Is this a just calamity or an unjust calamity? A just calamity, for example, you have decided to commit a sin. You get in your car, you're driving completely normal, you have your seat belt on and you're headed towards the destination of committing a sin in the court of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and something happens to your car, a tire burst, or somebody hits your car, whatever. And in this particular case, you know, your car gets into a wreck. It was not directly because of your, your direct actions, but because of your indirect intentions and actions of committing a sin that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wanted to test you and He put you in a calamity to remind you that Allah is in control in your, in your lives. In this particular scenario, we also say, Inna lillahi wa inna li rajiun. Now the unjust scenario, if a calamity falls onto you, you don't have direct, you haven't done directly anything to bring it upon yourself. Is for example, you're walking on the street and somebody just comes and arrests you and put you in a prison for, let's say, you know, five years. This is completely unjust. What happened with Yusuf alayhi salam? He didn't do anything wrong, but he was thrown in prison for nine years or you know, seven or nine years. In any case, that's unjust. He was unjustly thrown. So in this particular scenario you need to be reminded of the fact that if somebody does injustice, injustice to you at this particular moment, remember that on the day of judgment, Allah will equal out everything. So if you don't get your justice in this dunya, rest assured that on the day of judgment, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make things equal for you on the day of judgment.